Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tricky Brickies, where today I'm building a little garden wall. So this is the job we've got here. We're down on Mersey Island, and I've got a nine-inch wall to do right here. Got one little 150 step in it here, so where that's easy enough to sort out. And this section, just to protect this window a bit, we're gonna bring this section up here, so we're gonna have a bit of an angle on this bit, and then bring it down to 900 brick on edge. So it's gonna be a meter from the outside, 900 from the inside. Lovely. We've got a thousand bricks. There's one pack, another pack's just coming around the corner. A few bags of dust there. Good ton of building sand. And the mixer, we're all ready to go. We're using the Optimax again today. The Feb, the plaster sizer to make the gear more usable. I've just run my level along there from one end to the other and I reckon this end is only as accurate as I could be with my level. This end is about 10 mil higher than that end up there. So what I'll do is I'll grind my first brick down this end really low and I'll get it out over the first two courses and then we should be back to perfect level again. But it's not very far off for that at all. Lovely. Five shovels of sand go into the mix first of all. A little bit of water and feb, half a bag of cement, and then another five sand. I'm gonna let that mix while I bump out some bricks. So we're gonna be building this wall in Flemish Bond today. That's how I set out my ends. Some people do it with a three quarter and a header I always like to do it with a full brick and a full stretch and just put the queen closure in. I think it looks a lot neater and then having a three quarter at the end. You've always got nice full bricks at the end of your coin this way instead of having a, a three quarter. I think it looks better. So there we go, we've got our first five courses down. It's looking something like that. Nice. And there we are, racked up to height. Bush. So now I've bonded my wall all the way through. Bearing in mind this goes up two courses here. So the first course will be the same as the third. This is the third course first. So it throws through and runs full to a full brick this time. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna run a three quarter up this one, if I put a three quarter there, that'll then make a header above. So I'll put a three quarter in here, then the header, and then it'll work back. The bond will work perfect again. It's lovely. So now I've started laying the bricks. I'm running down the both sides at the same time. That way I don't have to break the halves every time. I'm keeping the face good, both sides, leveling and ranging through as I go. Just had to interrupt the video to uh, appreciate the F-double-O-D. Look at that, sausage and bacon in the morning. Lovely old job. Right, that's as high as we're gonna go with that for now. I'm gonna get this all run in now and get this all leveled up to this height. And then once we've done that, we can work out how much of a rake we need to get this up here to provide a little bit of privacy for that window when people are sitting out here on the uh, on the patio because that's a bedroom there so maybe someone could be in the bedroom people could be out here and you need a bit of privacy so we're going to drop something we're going to make this come out here slightly maybe arch it down or curve it or we haven't decided yet what we're going to do i'm going to speak to the guy see what he wants there but at the moment i'll get it all leveled up and then we'll go from there there we go nicely through the first two courses there Got over that little low bit. Now we're running nice. We're back on the string lines. Out with the ground to the left hand side. And yeah, looking good. So it's just time now. Get the whole thing ran in. Boom! 
it's been a while since I built a Flemish garden wall, so it's nice. It makes a nice change to get on some work, which is a little bit different from the norm. Also, you don't need any wall ties in a Flemish garden wall bun wall because the brick itself is is the tie. It's tied together as it's built, not like a stretcher where you would run a single skin either side and leave wall ties out. With Flemish bond, the header runs through, forming the bond and keeping it all tied in together both sides.
That's not a bad start. There's day one. On the top in there. However high, we've got to speed to them yet, but see how high I've got to go up here. I've still got three bands left there. So we've still got plenty of bricks to make it all happen. Plus, like I say, I've got brick on edge to go, so. Right, this is the line that we're following for the top. We're going right the way up to here. So I've just come back from work. Well, I've just finished work. I've come over just to bang a few more bricks on here, get this all whacked up, and then Saturday morning, I can come in and just literally run across the top with a brick on edge. Lovely old job. Right, so we've got our cuts done now. We have our rack that we're going to take up to the top. Got the muck on there because it's a bit wet. The sand's a bit wet, so I put the whole bed out. So now quickly come along here, put this brick on edge. Like we've done through here. And then we'll be done. Oh God, typical. Just as I've got the last couple of bricks laid. It's absolutely belting it down. Oh, my car's soaking wet. Oh God. And there we have it, the finished wall. Boom. What a lovely old job. Nice. Happy days. I have left a link in the description for all the tools that I used in this job. So if you need any of the things that I've been using, that's the place to get them from. So thank you very much for tuning in to the Tricky Brickies. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. But until then, have a great day. Peace out and pow. Thailand Adventures coming soon.